What is up, broskies? Today, we have something from the amazing folks at Ringside. And, oh, here it is. You guys can't see how tall that is? Yeah. All right, but before we get into that, um, I'm in the works of filming Velocity. For those of you who don't know, I have Jackknife Flying Velocity. And I did switch to a pit, pit fed formula, so it should look better. I'm still getting the hang of it. A few, I have a few things where my hands are in frame and stuff, but you know, I'll take what I can get. I finished the first match, and we need three other ones. So once I get all the matches and everything done, that'll be up on the channel. But yeah, let's get into our <laughs> collectible box. Here we have our good old knife, bro. So let's kind of. Uh, I don't even fit in the ring, <laughs> and this ring is huge. Right. Let's. All right, I'm gonna have to do this off camera because this thing is huge. It's just a glimpse of some of the stuff. So yeah, we have a big box with, I think there's like ten figures in here, something around that, ten, eight, nine maybe. So, so first out of the box we got my boy Kofi Kingston and. We, we got my boy Kofi Kingston, and this is his newest figure, and it's going to look great on the shelf, so we're just going to set that in the back there. We also have Ivar from the Viking Raiders. This figure looks great. Cannot wait to get in there and look into that. We also have Mr. Kyle O'Reilly. Had to get his figure. And we couldn't get Kyle O'Reilly without getting Bobby Fish. So, we're going to put him right there next to his tag team partner. And since we're on the topic of tag teams, come on, you know we had to get Eric. We got Ivar, we had to get Eric. We got two, two more figures in here, I believe. We got... The one and only Ricochet. This figure looks beautiful in the Nightwing attire. So we're going to look into that. And then last but certainly not least. Xavier Woods. So we have a lot here. That we're going to get out of the box and get into some reviews. So since we have three tag teams. We are going to get into one that isn't associated with the tag team right now. The one and only Ricochet. This figure looks outstanding. And it finally comes with knee pads, which is a bonus. Let's get Ricochet out of here. So now that we got Ricochet out, first things first, we're taking out this Kawhi Leonard hand, as MDD, MDT called it, and plugging the mic holding hand in right there. And we're going to address the elephant in the room about this figure. The tattoo goes through the wrist tape, which is a really easy fix. Uh, I just have to do a little paint over. But still, minor complaint, but hey, we got knee pads. And... It, <laughs> It's been long awaited, Ricochet. Okay. <laughs> it's been long awaited for Ricochet to get knee pads on his figure. And already my shoulder is really, really tight, which is good, but kind of annoying at the same time. Now we're going to go get into some figure comparisons. So here we have all of Ricochet's past figures. Um, you saw me open that one in the last ringside unboxing yeah they're all the same formula except they have different uh designs and this i believe is molded yes so they went with the murphy lowers and molded it instead of painted it on like they are in the other three other than that i mean they're all the same figure pretty much this one is black wrist tape and you see i added knee pads to these but other than that i mean he stands its ground I think he's a little too tall, but I'm not sure. 
Um, it says he's 5'9 here, so he is definitely too tall because um, AJ Styles is 5'10 and he is much taller than the AJ Styles figure, so that's nothing a little lower leg swap can't fix. But anyway, this is the one and only Ricochet with the amazing pants design next to his other elite comrades and I need to put some knee pads on that one well we'll get into the Rick Rick shape now the same head scan I think they showed it with a different one but I like this head scan I don't see why people complain about it but you know you can never please the community <laughs> so yeah pretty tight figure really whoops thank gosh he's a tight figure because we hate getting loose figures out of box. His torso is a little loose, but other than that, pretty lit. And then he comes with his little Chris Jericho jacket. <laughs> I know it's not Chris Jericho, but it's got like the diamond studded, and it, it, it looks like Chris Jericho. And then you got the hood, you plug it into there, and then you got it with the hood down. So we're going to just throw it this back on the one and only like so and we're gonna plug in this hood which i think this is the aj styles mold i do believe this is aj styles jacket mold because he's got the two little holes right there for the hood to go in there we go and I can't really see. It's hard to get the peg in. But anyway. Okay, instead sort of fumbling with that, we got Ricochet in his jacket, all of his glory, looking amazing. Now we will get into the new day. Next up, we have the new day with Out Biggie. Um, obviously, these aren't the tires that go together. I have this attire, it's on the shelf, but. I'm going to skip the comparisons for this one since I've shown off my Kingston collection multiple times. But obviously we're going to address this up here. Blonde hair. Up, up, down, down title. So we're going to cut right into these boxes and get into the thingies. That works. It wouldn't open. Let's um hopefully be more precise with the Kofi box. If I could. There we go. Yeah, see? That's how you're supposed to open them. <laughs> Don't be barbaric. Don't be Viking Raiders. <laughs> and here we have Xavier and Kofi. Now, I wasn't going to pick up this Xavier until I saw the images. And I feel like it's going to be a sought-after figure just because of the different head scans and the up, up, down, down title. And then I got the Kofi because you know I had to get the Kofi. And I want to get the Big E from that set, but I'm probably just going to wait till I find it in retail. And we'll get in Kofi first real quick. Um, just your average Kofi figure. I mean, it has the really cool attire tribute to Xavier Woods since he's been out with injury. And over here, they moved the, the tattoo down, which kind of, it just looks weird, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal. And then he comes with the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, which his last figure also came with the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. So now I have a complete set. <laughs> but no, nothing really too special about the Kofi, except the blonde hair is kind of cool and has a really nice Xavier attire. Now to Xavier Woods. Now, I'm going to get more into his accessories since I already reviewed the Kofi of this attire. Starting with this. This is amazing. See, this, it's molded on, which is... I, I guess it's alright. I mean, it'd be better if it was shiny, but beggars can't be choosers. And then on the side plate it says Austin Creed, Up, Up, Down, Down. It's the Up, Up, Down, Down video game championship from the YouTube channel they run. And it's flipping beautiful. <laughs> So you love to see it right there. 
And then he comes with the green trombone. I don't really know why it's green. I guess he was carrying it around at this time. It would have it made sense if it was like pink or blue to match his attire. And once again, very stiff arms, but that's fine. And then the <laughs> switchable head sculpt. That's when he did like a Stevie Wonder cosplay or something like that. <sighs> and it clips right on. So yeah, a really good figure. Like this figure is contender for figure of the year just because of everything it comes with. And then the up, up, down, down title is, like I said, is a beautiful work of art. We're going to do the Undisputed Era this time, just because I think the Viking Raiders are the most detailed, other than maybe the Xavier Woods and, well, the War Games attire is amazing, but I mean, it's the Viking Raiders. We got we got to do them last, save the best for last, right? So here we have the missing two pieces from the Undisputed Era. And as you can see, Roger Strong and Adam Cole are ready to get their their buddies out of there. Okay, so before we get any further into this, the first thing I'm going to complain about is that this belt strap is huge. Like, it's super loose on O'Reilly. It's on the last buttons, too. And that is, I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's kind of annoying, really. And then I'm going to complain about Mr. Fish's head sculpt. I mean, everyone knows it's kind of trash compared to the epic moments, but you know, it, 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 it is what it is. It is what it is. Whoa. Hold on, Roddy. So I'm going to get into Bobby Fish because I think his attire, yeah, pretty sure his attire is a little more detailed, especially like the tattoos on his back and stuff. Take the shirt off. So, molded on armbands, I don't know why they couldn't just throw in the rubber ones like they did for Roddy and Cole, but you know. Once again, beggars can't be choosers. So, we start off, you got the fish logo, and then the knee, just the knee pads, or here's the undisputed logo, and there's just a plain knee pad. Then on the back, you got blue and black, and then it says infamous on the back, infamous Bobby Fish. And you have a really detailed tattoo right there, that looks great. Then there's the dead fish on the Arctic camo and then the kick pads. They have like a, a, a tombstone on them <laughs> and a red cross. I, I guess he wore that to the war games. I mean, I'd have to go back and rewatch it, but yeah. Um, figure overall is really good. I mean, apart from the head scan, it's really good. And then same with Kyle O'Reilly is KO on the knee pads, silver boots, which I really like. And then no really detail on the back. Then just the undisputed, and then honest, and then his force, his force is affectious, something like that tattoo. Yeah, it's kind of cool, and I really like the Kyle O'Reilly head sculpt. Is it, it might be the same one in the most three pack? I don't know. I don't have it. So yeah, we got Adam Cole and his comrades. No, it is Adam Cole, the leader of the undisputed era. You see, you would think that it would be yes, but uh, it's most definitely Adam Cole. <laughs> he, he, he's the leader, really. So, yeah, we got the two guys right there. See, they are the tag team champions on Velocity. Um, their match will be a very good one. I haven't made it yet, but I can just tell you it's going to be a very good one. And will these two debut in the company? Who knows? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know, haven't really thought about it. But yeah, the Undisputed Era. Looking great next to each other. And then it comes with the UE head, hands on both of them. So, yeah. Okay, so the tag team belts are so big because they can actually wear them over the rubber shirt, which is awesome. But then again, they could add like two extra dots, you know, just to make it to where it could fit around their waist. But. Still good, still good, still good. All right, now we just got two more figures, the Viking Raiders. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Eric and Ivar. These two, I feel like, are going to end up going for a lot just because it's their first figures and their elites, and they're insanely detailed.
Like from the face paint to the boots. Detailed. Okay, before I open Eric, I just want to say the arms I feel are super small on Ivar. And I mean, he, he's also came like, he came like super loose. I mean, his legs are a little loose and his arm is very loose, which I often find happens a lot with like bigger guys. I feel like their arm always comes loose. It happens to me in every Kevin Owens figure. Uh, my Kane figure before I sold it, it gets loose really easily. So here we have the Viking Raiders, the Viking Experience, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room. He has these lowers. And I'm not sure why Mattel has been doing that. It's kind of, it, I mean, like, it, it kind of just, it don't look, yeah, it looks bad. Yeah. Looks like he has stick legs. I mean, I have boots I could swap on here, but then I lose all the details. So, I mean, I might just keep them and hopefully I don't lose my sanity over them. So, here we go. We got nice little long haired headset on our boy here. He's got his elbow pad, the arm little gauntlet. It looks like Kenny Omega's from the, from the Unrivaled. And then he has his chest strap. We're going to go ahead and take off all the stuff. And it just opens up like that. Look at there. Then he has like the little belt thing here. And kick all that stuff out the way. And then for Ivar, we have the huge old headset, which does sit better than um, Eric's. But I think Eric's looks better. And once again... I feel like his arms are very, very small. I mean, it could just be me, but like, they just look small on this huge mass of a man here. And once again, his arm is loose out of package, which kind of hurts, really. And then this isn't made to come off, because I think, I'm pretty sure he wrestles in this. So we got the Viking experience with Eric and Ivar. And these knee pads, they <laughs> they should have took the Otis route and molded them instead of uh, actually putting them on because the knee pads they don't really they don't look they sit really low and they don't look right. But I mean, other than that, his tattoo on his can on his calf here is awesome. It goes like almost all the way around. Super detailed, a super detailed elbow pad too, which looks really good. And then all the molding, all the molded studs on the little kilt thing. And then for the boy, Eric, he's got all of his huge tattoos, this big old arm, I mean elbow pad with little shield design on there. And they come with a Viking like devil sign thing, hands, I can't do it, but <laughs> I'm not going to use them. So, and then once again, the boots are a killer and it makes me want to cry. Real quick, I'm going to rank everybody I've got from this unboxing. So here are all of our figures and now we're going to rank them with last place. Okay, so it's hard to pick last place because all of these figures are good in their own rights, but, but, I am going to have to put my boy Kofi at last place. I mean, nothing wrong with it. It's just that it's not as exciting as the rest of these guys. So Kofi, I love you, but you got to go last. Second to last place. The one and only Ricochet. Once again, awesome figure. But like, when you look at these guys, you can't really compete. All right, now we're in our top one, two, three, four, five. And it's going to be Eric. Eric could have been number one. He probably would have been if his kick pads weren't, you know, the unfortunate way they are. All right. Next up is going to be the UE boys, both of them. Simply because these other two figures just blow them out of the water, even though those are amazing. And in front of him, I got to put Xavier Woods just because of all of these awesome accessories. And number one is going to be Big Boy Ivar. Figure's amazing. Detail's great. I mean, of course, the loose shoulder, but it can't really distract from the awesome molding and paint and everything like that. So I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.